sits next to him. He begins to talk. Father, you are now in your deathbed. For some weird reason, we are expected to take care of you, to forget the empty plate that constantly reminded us of your absence, the sound of our grumbling stomachs murmuring of hunger, to forget that to you, your house, our home, was a disgusting rubbish bin full of rotten things, to forget how you broke our home and left it to our mother to mend. We're not to ask where you were in our time of need. Once again, we're to swallow our tongues and ignore our pain. We're to die as cushions, making your life comfortable. The brown beer bottle is not here now. Those you filled up the table for are not here now. But we are. I remember when I was young, you bought me a soccer ball. You bought my sister a tennis ball. But when times got tough and we needed a father, you had no balls to stay. Okay. We are now to forget that he... Come on. We are now to forget how you left all of us in a grave. Mother had to find a way to make it a home. Father, you are now dying. But why come back to the village? Why not be a soldier and die in your mission, making other women happy, raising their children and leave us alone? Yeah. Now we are to forget how we worshiped you in speech and action. Your anger was the judgment day. Your words were fire. We were sinners. Now I have to forget how your absence turned me into a history library. Mother would visit, navigate its contents just to remind herself of the life she had before she died. When you were still her heaven, not the hell you have become. Father, why are you here? I see the passage to your room has now turned into a highway. Mali is rushing in, carrying a warm plate, whilst mother is fetching you a glass of water. What a great amnesia we're expected to have. To forget the days when we had to bungee jump from our beds to the world, hoping the string of our mother's prayers would be long enough to keep us going and strong enough not to let us drop. To forget that there was a time when thoughts of you had, a, had an aftertaste of tears. Mother, an angel that did not fly as high as she could, but she never wanted to leave us on the ground. She gave up her wings for the breath in our lungs. Through everything, her love for you was a heart of steel that would instill hope. Even though other women would steal you away, she would still remain faithful. I remember when you would come home drunk, landing on your knuckles. I guess that's when you began to see our needs as chains and shackles. Mother would try to take you in. Your hands would be her necklace. Your drunkenness would be a big bang, breaking everything. You would be a hurricane, shaking and throwing things. When you're sober, you would find us standing, shaken, thanking God we have survived the storm. Your eldest son became a crackhead. Crack became the on- oh, sorry. Um, You would replace broken plates and broken windows. We would leave with our cracks. Your eldest son became a crackhead. Crack became the only thing that could feel his cracks. You still did not stop. He died of overdose. You left home. You left bitter memories to father us. Father, I have come to tell you that to forgive you, I choose to ban in hell. Yes. Yes.